Hey, how's it going? It's Mike with TubeStudio.com. <clears throat> uh, today I've got a beast. I've got a real beast of a tuba. This is a Mel Culbertson VMI Neptune. Now, I know these were in limited production at one point. I did hear, but I don't have anything to substantiate this. That there were only about 100 of them made, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, I had to back out a little bit. Usually I'm a little closer to the computer, uh, to the camera, but because this is a beast, in case I didn't mention that. Uh, this is the horn. It's, it's pretty awesome in the true sense of the word. Um, <laughs> um, it's an incredible instrument. It is, if you are familiar with a Rudy five quarter, which is bigger than most six quarters, um, <clears> that's <throat> on par with that size. So, um, it's in the key of C it's a five valve, um, thumb fifth, of course. Um, and it plays really well. It's been really well taken care of the previous owner. I don't know how many owners there were. I don't know how many um, or how old the horn is. Um, I do know that the valves are in excellent shape, so that's a real big plus. Um, and the previous owner actually took really good care of it, kept it oiled, all that stuff. So it that's why the valves are still in really good shape. So let me do just a little bit of playing for you, and you can hear a little bit about what it sounds like. It's a little hard with microphones like this on, you know, I've got a Mac and it's supposed to have a better microphone, but um, it doesn't have, you know, incredible frequency response, but at least you get an idea of like the different registers and stuff like that. So let me do a little plan for you. So as you can see, that actually is pretty, pretty solid in the low register. So you can hear that it's actually pretty nimble, um, which is pretty amazing for a horn this size. Sometimes they're bottomless, bottomless pit of air. This horn's not. Um, yeah, and by the way, excuse my little screw ups there here and there. I'm using a mouthpiece that I usually use on my own horn, and uh, this isn't a horn I play every day, so I'm just you know kind of getting used to it. Um, but so that's the thing. Um, it's a, it's a nimble horn when you need it to be. You can play it softer because you have control because it's not a bottomless pit of air, which is fantastic. Um, I've had some horns come through, uh, or that I've tried, I should say, <clears throat> that just took an enormous amount of air and it just felt like it never ended. So uh, this isn't one of those. And uh, so having a horn this size, it may sound a little raspy. I haven't listened to the video yet, of course, but uh, it may sound a little raspy because I'm, I'm in a small room and I'm also um, uh, using, like I said, the microphone probably isn't picking up the richness down in the low register and all that stuff. But you can at least hear that you can play in all these registers and they're un un unencumbered, which is really great. Um, but it's something that this horn is a beast. It can, when you need to put the pedal to the metal, you can. And at the same time, uh, it provides a beautiful blanket of sound that just supports like an orchestra or a band. Um, this is, of course, this is an instrument that I personally wouldn't use for everything. 
Um, you know, sometimes if you, that's all the money you have, you got to do that. But it's just like this is a horn that uh, definitely for orchestral playing and uh, definitely for a band because um, it's got that nimbleness, but it's also got that huge, wide, dark, velvety sound um, that VMIs like this and then also, you know, very similar to a Rudy Meinl. Um, not quite a Rudy Meinl, um, but it's it's very similar to a Rudy Meinl. So anyway, that's the Mel Culbertson VMI Neptune C tuba. Uh, if you want more information, give me uh, send me a message or contact me somehow. Uh, email sales at tubastudio.com. Um, and I was gonna say one more thing and don't remember what it was, so I'm just gonna let you go and have a good day. Thanks. <laughs>